again. Uh, this is uh, Cadet Kurt Heron. Just uh, trying to document more of our march. Um, we are on our way to Stanton right now. I think we're about seven, eight miles south of Stanton. So we got uh, three big hills there in front of us. We have to conquer till our next uh, our next break. But uh, yeah, just uh, doing the march. Kind of glad it's had a lot of uh, reporters and uh, and uh, even a news crew come out to uh, talk to us and interview us. So that's good. We uh, found out we were on the front cover of the Roanoke Times, which we are very excited about. Just trying to get the word out about our march and uh, you know trying to raise uh, some money for the New Market Battlefield. So that's what this is all about and commemorating uh, commemorating what they did back then, nearly 150 years ago. So it's uh it's nice too. A lot of people driving by, wave, honk, you know. We've even had a couple people, you know, stop to uh, give us water or you know candy or whatever. So it's uh, it's nice to see people who've heard about what we're doing uh, in the, over these couple days. It's nice to see them kind of come out to support us. So if you're in the area, why don't you uh, come out to see us too? But. Yep, and uh, also if you're in the area, make sure you make it up to the uh, New Market reenactment. We'll be there, as well as about a thousand other reenactors, so it should be a good time. So, yeah, and my feet are killing me, but that's okay. So, all right, that's about it. Good afternoon, this is Cadet Patrick Smith. Uh, we're here on the New Market March, day two. Um, we left this morning at about 6.30 in the morning. We woke up around 5.45 or so, a little bit of uh, grogginess. We had a little rain last night, not too heavy of rain, but just a little drizzle while we were sleeping around three or four in the morning. Um, but anyway, we got on the road at about 6.30 and 6.45 this morning. It was nice and cloudy and overcast. Uh, occasionally a, just a little bit of drizzle with nothing heavy. Um, but so far this has been a, a, a good day of marching. We, uh, we've been stopping every now and then. There's been a lot of a lot of media coming by to get picture and footage and, and uh, interviews with us. So uh, we just had a stop probably about 30 minutes ago. That was about 30 to 45 minutes um, of interviews and a nice Nice lady brought by some snacks for us, uh, <laughs> chocolate bars, cold Coca-Colas, and a bag of chips for everybody. So, <sighs> but uh, that was that was pretty refreshing. But we got about eight miles left to go today. Uh, we got a couple hills until we make it to Stanton, and then uh, we'll, we should be done for the day. We're gonna bed down at the Frontier Culture Museum on the 1850s America Farm. So. We're pretty excited because uh, two years ago, when they did the march, they, um, it, everything was kind of hastily put together. But this year, you know, we've we've arranged everything, so we're excited that we get to stay at a at a site that is sort of period correct, so to speak. So we're excited for that, and uh, that's all for now. Stay tuned. Check it out. Marine Corps, Semper Fi. All right, this is uh, Kurt Heron again. We are about two miles south of uh, Stanton currently. Um, the last part of the march we did was pretty rough. Marched about two to three miles. It was a lot of hills. And of course, it being the end of the day, you know, people were pretty sore. So, uh, yeah, that was rough. Um, we are uh, right outside a, a church where we were just kind of camping, just kind of taking a taking a break, and uh, we're getting ready to go again. So uh, just uh, you know, letting y'all know. Thanks. Arms in one rank, right face forward, march.
gentlemen, this is Byron Fadley, the faculty advisor for the VMI Civil War Roundtable. Uh, we just arrived in Stanton, as you can see, uh, passing out some water, trying to get everybody hydrated. Everybody's kind of taking a nap right now. But uh, there is Frontier Drive. We're going to get uh, shuttled down there here in a few minutes um, to our camp this evening at the Frontier Culture Museum. Um, here in Stanton, and I think everybody's looking forward to it. Mr. Rob Young, do you have any comments for the people on YouTube? It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. Are you happy you know it's what? over? I am so I am so happy. We, man, I'll tell you what. About two miles ago, my only thought was two miles, and I'm halfway there. <laughs> That and I love cows. I just want some lunch. You just want some lunch? Yeah, we all have to sleep. Hey, food. Anybody else? Where are the people on YouTube? Oh, it's a beautiful ride. Hi. Uh, hello, Internet. It's terrible pain. Oh, yeah. One more That's thing. Mr. Kurt Heron. He's hurting. Yeah, we uh, done for the day. We're laying here in that gas station over there to start playing. Journeys don't stop believing, so. Man, it's gas expensive. Oh. I got one more thing. Oh, uh, Mr. Young has one more thing here. Sure, glad hey, I'm Mom, here. if you're watching this, stop creeping on my Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's it from uh, here in Stanton. Maybe uh, something else a little later after we get into our quarters at the Frontier Culture Museum. Uh, but hey, thanks for watching. Bye. Hello, it's uh, Kurt Heron again. We are here in Stanton at the Frontier Culture Museum. Um, so we're just waiting for the park to close. We're going to move into the 1850s farm they've uh, generously let us use. Um, so uh, I'm going to, at this point, show you... Um, sorry, bug. I'm at this point going to show you what marching in period footwear can do to your feet over a number of miles. So if, uh, if you're squeamish, then uh, you might not want to watch this part. But here you go. Look at that. Mm -mm. Isn't that just delicious? Yep, so uh, as you can tell, it doesn't feel oh, too God, great. But anyway, all right, uh, really? just let you know that's what it, uh, that's what it does to your feet. But uh, we'll be continuing on tomorrow. See you then.